तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इनफाइनाइट नॉलेज एंड आई एम बैक विथ अनदर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर प्रोजेक्ट विच इज बेस्ड ऑन आर्डिनो यूनो एंड द प्रोजेक्ट नेम इज ऑटोमेटिक सोलर पैनल क्लीनिंग सिस्टम तो वाई द सोलर पैनल क्लीनिंग इज नेसेसरी राइट नाउ बिकॉज इन इंडस्ट्री एज वेल एज इन द होम और यू कैन से इन द रेसिडेंशियल एरिया यूज ऑफ सोलर सोलर पैनल्स आर ड्रास्टिकली इंक्रीज एंड the main disadvantage of the solar panel is you need to clean it fortnightly so as dust accumulate on your solar panel it will reduce the generation capacity of your solar panel so to get rid of this adverse circumstances we need to develop some logic some automatic thing which clean the solar panel and you don't require to do anything okay so let's check how the system is working so there are lots of video available on youtube uh, which is showing that uh, how this solar cleaner system is working so here you can see see then uh, this is a reference that i have taken you can see there is a uh, the uh, the cleaning system and uh, yes it's one wiper uh, which is on the solar panel and there are two switches two limit switches so you can see this is a motor and in our simulation you can see this is the motor which is stepper motor that i have used and there is a two switches upper limit switch and the lower limit switch so we have installed the two switches one upper limit switch and one is the lower limit so uh, at this moment uh, i just wanted to know uh, illustrate the logic behind it so what is the logic so here you can see that uh, this is our solar panel and here uh, at this stage we have one wiper which is used to clean the system okay uh, like this way uh, there is a wiper and yes here the motor is connected and uh, it will rotate once it's rotated the wiper will move upward and downward upward side and the downward side okay like this way this will rotate upper side and come to the downward side this is a two limit switch one limit switch is here lo located and one other is here located so there is a two limit switch so this two limit switch is this one upper limit switch this one lower limit switch this one and this is our stepper motor which is here this is our stepper motor so once usually this uh, this system is located at the downward side so whenever i start the system you can see whenever i start the system my motor will go to the upper side so it goes to the it will go to the upper side okay so it will clock this my motor uh, start to rotate in some direction so just need to wait okay so you can see here yes uh, my motor is start to rotate in automatic solar cleaning system and yes take some time and yes it start directly rotating it is rotating one direction okay so like say we'll go to the anti clockwise mean it is going to the upward direction so once it go to the upper direction it will reach to the upper limit you can see here upper limit switch you can see the uh, this upper limit switch trigger and direction to anti clock okay so yes it away right now it touch the upper limit so initially it go to the upper side and once it touch it will go to the downward side okay so now it is coming to the downward side so again it will touch to the lower limit switch and change its direction change its direction now it touch the lower limit switch and change its direction now it is going to the upper side again upper side and again it starts to the upper limit switch and right now it is going uh, to uh, or reduce its speed and going to the downward side not a reduce switch the speed is constant and just changing upper and downward movement okay so after some time it should be stop so i have used the 30 second turn on and 40 second turn off delay okay so for 30 second it will on and clean the system and here you will get the notification like 30 seconds left and wait for the lower limit so while wait for the lower limit switch because we need to stop the system at the lower limit switch while lower limit switch and now it's turn off for the 40 seconds so what is 30 second and 40 second uh, usually what what is the logic behind it i want to uh, turn on the cleaning system for 20 uh, 10 minutes and the turn of the system for the 12 hours okay so this is the logic behind it so uh, in 24 hours in 24 hours in between 24 hours uh, for a 10 minute 
the cleaning will start and for remaining 12 hours cleaning will stop and it will rotate continuously so it means that 10 minute uh, the system is cleaning through the wiper and remaining 12 hours system is stopped mm. then again for 10 minutes system is start and clean your panel and for 12 hours it will stop so this is the continuously in the loop and it is totally doing automatically and for that i have used this uh, this count timer ds1307 which is used to uh, show the time okay here you can see the compare the time of 14 12 2024 okay here you can see the time so here what i have done i have just just reduced this logic for the simulation purpose so 10 minutes turn on i have removed the 10 minutes and added the 30 seconds so 30 seconds 10 on turn on then again 12 hours stop i have stopped change from 12 hour to 40 seconds okay so to get the logic very clear i have changed changes it for 10 again 10 minutes on so again 30 second on and again 40 seconds stop so this is the logic that I, ha I have used to illustrate the model in this model so i have done the two programming one programming for 10 minutes on and 12 hours stop and one another programming for 30 second on and 40 second off. okay so at this stage you get the idea about it uh, there is two limit switch one lower limit switch one upper limit switch when the system start moving upward direction then downward direction then upward direction and when the 30 second is elapsed it does not stop any random position it does not stop the motor is not stop on the random position but it will stop at the bottom limit switch is well. so here in the simulation here in the simulation also you can you can see this logic very clearly that as i start the system yes this obviously takes some time to start then i will show you how what is this waveform so yes automatic solar cleaning system message is display and then directly the motor start to rotate in one direction okay so it is going to the upward direction and when the upper limit is close it changes direction and going to the downward direction so this happened for the 30 second this is happened for the 30 second continuously 30 second cleaning is on now it is going upward direction is upper limit which is bigger so it is now going to the lower side now lower limit is switch and it's changed the direction and now going to the upper side need to wait okay upper limited switch changes direction now again going back to the lower direction so you can see here for a 30 second it will continuously on and, uh, it's just a 20 second so right now again at 25 second at 25 second it got touch the lower limits okay so now once it starts the lower limit switch it is going to the upward direction okay so right now it is moving to the upward side and upward direction now check here so 30 second is elapsed so yes we need to check here you will get the message that 30 second is elapsed and now it need to stop so whether it is stop or not you can see it is not stopping and it is right now going in the upward direction so as upper limit switch is closed it changes direction and it not stop it will stop whenever it touch to the lower limit okay once it touch the lower limit switch my motor is off why it is because i don't want to stop and at random position and wanted to stop at the lower limit so right now it is stop at this position lower limit switch and my motor is here and now it is a 40 second off period you can see here 40 second off so once again when the 40 second is elapsed it will start automatically and motor will rotate so you need to wait for a 40 second here and uh, yes we can wait here for some time so this is the time this is the lcd display this is the arduino and this is the uh, rectifier part and this is a virtual CRO oscilloscope on which you can see the different waveform the input is 230 volt which is directly from the plug 230 volt ac uh, this is a 12 volt and this is the 5 volt here i have used 7 and 0 5 ic give you a 5 volt so you can directly connect arduino but here no need to supply arduino because 
build power is available. That's why I just use one K ohm register and give the name to the Arduino power supply. So at this stage, once the 40 seconds elapsed, uh, uh, the system start automatically and again my motor. So previously it was stopped, stopped at the lower side. So again it will go to the upward direction and automatically going to the upward direction similar to the previous one. So just need to wait which is very nearer. We are very near and you will get the message also that motor is start. Okay. So 40 seconds elapsed and motor on for 30 seconds again. And it is again going to the upward direction. Why it is again going to the upward direction? Because the stop was the previously stop at the lower side. Okay, again continuously following this uh, this movement in the loop. So 30 second on, 40 second off, 30 second on, 40 second off continuously for the simulation. But in actual scenario, it is different. In actual scenario, it is a 10 minutes on and the 12 hours stop. Again, 10 minutes on. Again, 10 minutes on and the 12 hours stop. So, this is continuously rotating. <clears throat> so, you will get the two different code, two different coding. One for this one, 10 minutes on and 12 hours stop and one for this one. So, for better, better illustration and better, better simulation, you can use this 30 second code and which is very clearly working. You can see here very clearly and just wanted to show you the digital oscilloscope also. Uh, yeah, and what is it? What it is? Okay, so this is a digital oscilloscope. Here you can see this is the AC supply, uh, which is a 230 volt AC supply, which is given here. This one, sorry, this one, 228 volt, and you are getting some 12 volt output side, and then it is filter using this uh, rectifier and the filter capacitor, and then you get the 12 volt, which is used to drive your stepper motor driver and give to this driver L298, or you can use. Uh, any type of driver which is really suitable to your uh, stepper motor so he, here you can see this is the this is the uh, uh, dc supply and there is some spike uh, some ripple is also there because you cannot filter the 100 percent you cannot get the 100 percent dc there is some ripple present in the dc supply so this is how uh, uh, you can make the solar cleaning system very easy and very accurate you can say because we have used this timer and timer giving you a very accurate output and uh, very simple coding very simple circuit diagram you get this all the thing the circuit diagram the proteus file and two different simulation file two different coding for 10 minutes and the 30 seconds in the in the given description box that is given in the description box obviously it's it's some it costs some price and uh, yes you will get uh, 100 percent from my side if you want if you want that i i am working on your suggested project you can connect with me through my email id that is given on the description box again thanks for watching this video if you have any query just comment it i will definitely reply thanks for watching this video